Azandra, they are rapidly closing in. We can't hold them much longer. I know just the guy. I'll known copter him in. This guide has methods for the lowliest noobs to the highest tier PVMers. You can make slight variations depending on what you have available. You ready to melt some ice? Is that Pup RS? This guy kills bosses faster than I can activate my potion reservoir. You should check out his channel. You know why he's here? Arch Glacier has a different respawn cycle compared to most bosses. After a bunch of testing, we determined you need to kill it in 3 seconds or faster for the best respawn times. You don't even auto-retaliate until 3 seconds, so obviously this wouldn't work. We did find that killing the boss in 9.6 to 15 seconds would give you a full respawn cycle of 42 seconds, coming out to 85 kills an hour. The only problem? That's pretty hard to do. Luckily, Pup has some great advice for you all, so make sure to follow that. I'm using a strategy I call Revo Bar Stacking. For the first kill, I use Zerk with Overpower and Hurricane for an almost 100% guaranteed sub-15 kill. When the boss respawns again, Zerk is still on cooldown, so an alternative rotation is needed. Yes. Yes, this is where the funky part comes in. For the second kill, I drag Chaos Roar onto my bar where it combos with Hurricane and Frenzy to give a sub-15 kill about 40% of the time. You only need to do this once at the start of the hour, and then the ability timers will sync up perfectly for the rest of the kills. To say it more simply, start your hour with this bar and kill the boss once. Then, drag Chaos Roar into slot 5 on the bar, and you're all set to AFK the rest of the hour. This is a brand new method as far as I know, but it's super easy once you get used to it. Here's the full preset I use. I've done something wild here. Since we're going for full AFK, prayer restoration becomes a real problem at this boss. The workaround i found is to use the regular prayer book. I know what you're thinking. The damage and healing will be so much worse. That's wrong. Here's where the gear layout comes through. I have an amulet of zealots on which makes ultimate strength give a 16% damage buff, outperforming even tier 99 prayers. Instead of wearing cinder banes, I use a regen bracelet comboed with the rapid renewal prayer to maintain full health. It does just as well as soul split. The gear is very similar to my Hellweer melee loadout. I use full vestments of Havoc with an Abyssal Scourge and offhand Dark Sliver of Leng. This provides huge damage and adrenaline perks. I then have a Champion's Ring, Zuck Cape, Abyssal Armor Spikes, and Activated Scripture of Wen to provide additional damage. For Relics, you use Conservation of Energy, Persistent Rage, and Fury of the Smalls. My inventory has Elder Overload Salves, Weapon Poison++, plus plus plus, a Spring Cleaner for drops, a Holy Wrench for a small prayer buff, Potion Reservoirs to make this more AFK, and then a Ripper Demon with Scrolls and Quorm Incense Sticks to increase damage. The final piece for this loadout is the Aura Choice. I went through hours of testing for this and found the following results. The Majrat Aura gives you about 83 kills per hour, Dark Magic gives you about 82 kills per hour, and Equilibrium Aura, which is more sustainable, gives you either 81 or 82 kills per hour. If you use no aura, you'll get 81 kills per hour. Here's the crazy thing I've discovered. You can remove the spikes, the poison and sticks, the Ripper that. Demon scrolls, and the aura, and still get 80 kills per hour with this bar setup. This is what I suggest because it's much more cost effective and AFK and it still outperforms the previous best fully buffed method. Your call. Now maybe you don't have the Zuck Cape, maybe you don't have some ability upgrades, 
Maybe you can't afford 2 billion GP in armor and weapons. That's okay, we've been there. I'm still going to get you 60 to 66 kills per hour. For this setup, we'll use the tier 85 Dark Ice Sliver and Dark Ice Shard. They deal level 88 damage, but more importantly, they allow you to use both Hurricane and Destroy with dual wield. Due to the lower level, we'll need to add the Incredible Reflexes prayer for extra accuracy. For the gear, I use a combination of Bandos and Masterwork. I make sure to have the Hit Points cape on to synergize with the Regen bracelet. I didn't use Weapon Poison during testing, but it should push you closer to 66 kills per hour. Your health and prayer will slowly start to drop, so I've included Excalibur and an Elven Ritual Shard. Alternatively, you can bank every 30 minutes to restore your health and prayer. For Relics, you only need Persistent Rage, but you could add Berserker's Fury to help when you're at those lower health points. The low level setup will get you about 44 kills per hour and it's super accessible. The most challenging item required is the passive Ceridoman God Sword. You get the passive God Sword by using the normal Ceridoman God Sword on the Ceridoman Altar in God Wars Dungeon, which requires 70 agility. The sword regenerates health and prayer with every single hit you land. The rest of my gear is dragon armor with an amulet of zealots and a regen bracelet. The prayers are the same as the mid-level setup. You can last about 15 minutes without restoring prayer, but I suggest bringing a prayer renewal so you can stay for a full hour. An extreme attack is also a huge help for accuracy. You'll see I'm splashing quite a bit on the boss. Other than that, I have a Talon Beast for DPS and a Pink Unicorn Plushie for Moral Support. An Infernal Puzzle Box in your tool belt or inventory is also required to maintain Adrenaline. If you don't have Rapid Restore, you can use Rapid Heal instead for what I call the Catch Me Outside method. You don't even need to restore prayer with this, just chill at the boss for about 30 minutes at which point you'll be dragged away and spawn outside with full hit points. Just head back in and keep killing. Archglacer is a great way to collect blue charms at all levels and a solid AFK money maker too. I suggest playing on mobile if you want to collect drops as the increased looting range will be helpful when you get pushed around. Other than that, just enjoy the boss. Thanks for watching.